area. These sightings were prior to the discovery of the burnt out vehicle. There have also been no reported stolen vehicles that could be attributed to the suspects. At this point in the investigation, we believe they are still in the area. Manitoba RCMP has deployed a significant amount of resources to the Gillam area, including our emergency response team, our crisis negotiation team, police dog services, and air services assets. The RCMP major crime unit is involved, as well as the RCMP's North District and RCMP resources from other provinces. The informational check stop at the intersection of Provincial Road 280 and Provincial Road 290, the road leading into Gillam, continues to be in place and will be for the foreseeable future. Our officers have conducted detailed and thorough searches of potential areas of interest and these searches continue. Over the last 48 hours, we have received over 80 tips and we continue to ask the public to remain vigilant for Cam McLeod and Briar Schmigelski. If they are spotted, do not approach, call 911 or your local police immediately. And I need to emphasize that in the Gillam area, in order to get a hold of police, you need to call the number 204-652-2200. And in the Thompson area, that an emergency number is 204 Six seven seven six nine one one. As you can appreciate, this is a dynamic and unfolding situation. I understand that people have many questions, and we commit to providing answers as soon as we can. Les recherches pour trouver Cam McLeod et Briar Schmelzky supposed to be Cam McLeod and Briar Schmelzky continue, and we are now able to confirm établi, that there have been two established and corroborated sightings of the two Ces in the Gillam area. Those sightings uh, happened incendie. prior to Aucun the discovery of the vehicle. Du vol de été no reported stolen vehicles étape, uh, have. Uh, been given. As a result, we believe they are still in the area. Manitoba RCMP has deployed significant resources to the Gillam area, including the emergency resources, crisis negotiation team, and police dogs. The RCMP major crime section and RCMP from other provinces are also participating in the operation. There are still road stops uh, taking place at the intersection of Provincial Roads 280 and 290. Our police officers are continuing uh, to search for the two individuals across the area. We have now received 80 tips and we continue to ask uh, the public to remain vigilant. If you spot these two individuals, do not approach them. Call 911 or call your local police immediately. In the Gillam area, call 204. 652-2200 in the Thompson area, 204-677-6911. As you know, this situation is ongoing. Like us, you have questions and we pledge to answer those questions as soon as possible. So I will take some questions. Uh, right now, the investigation's ongoing, so we're still trying to determine everything, and I can't uh, comment on that. Sorry, I missed the beginning of that. Well, right now, we have police services from Western Canada, as well as the OPP. They're all engaged, and they're all insisting in this investigation. And with all the tips coming in, they are uh, investigating those and helping us. I don't have the specifics on the numbers. I think just what I mentioned in the release, that um, the last confirmed sighting was July 22nd, and the, the reason that no 
Um, there have been no stolen vehicles in that area as well at that time. But that's not to say that they, they haven't left. But it's in the Gillum area. I, I, I can't elaborate on that. Uh, we are taking all steps to um, be as thorough as we can, which is why we have so many resources deployed. So we're doing a lot of searches in and around that area. I can't speak to the uh, murder investigation in British Columbia. They will have to speak to that. I can just speak to what is happening here in Manitoba. Uh, right now, we're still um, in the area. Once I have more specifics or anything like that, I will let you know. It's a large area, but I can't speak to specifics on that. It's a, well, if you know Gillum, there's a lot of different areas, so I can't speak exactly where they will be searching right now. Uh, this is very challenging terrain. This is a large area. Um, it's very, there's lots of dense bush forest, swampy area, so it is very challenging. We. Oui. Uh, okay. The terrain is very difficult. La région it's very vaste difficult to terrain. terrain. It's a large uh, area. There is uh, a lot of swamp and bush in the area. Pardon me? Uh, right now, we're you know going through tips. We're investigating everything. There's tips coming all the time. Um, so as part of the investigation, I I can't comment on that. There's always new stuff coming in. I I can't comment on that. I think it's tough. It's, it's challenging terrain. It's vast, um, dense. So obviously, I think a lot of challenges, which is why we have deployed so many resources, um, you know, including the emergency response team. Uh, the police officers that are up there are trained uh, for these types of situations. Uh, we are using all uh, technology and resources that we have to speak to specifics. I, I, I won't do that just for the safety of our, of our officers. See. Yeah, I, I can't speculate on that. Um, so all I can tell you right now is the investigation is ongoing. Uh, we're doing our best to provide you guys with the, the, you know, the most information that we can. And once we confirm more details, we will, again, speak to you. So thank you very much.